What? You're going where? That's the general reaction when I make the announcement that I'm going to Korea for a year to teach. Shock and surprise and eventually a little bit of envy. People say, wow, you're going to have a great adventure. And that's the point. That's why I'm doing it, to have an adventure. When I was younger, I had adventures a lot. I was, I was very brave and I welcomed change and I was always looking for the next great experience. But it seems like in the past few years or decades, um, it's my kids that are having all the adventures and I wonder how that happened. When did I start choosing safe and sane over bold and another B word I can't think of. I mean, somewhere along the line I became a B word. Boring. So I thought, now that my kids are grown and flown the nest, it's maybe it's time for me to be an adventurer again. And I've always wanted to live abroad. I never got to be a foreign exchange student, so I thought this is a good a good thing to do now at this time of life. So I'm moving to Korea to a small town north of Seoul to teach English as a second language to eight, nine, ten, and eleven year olds. That should be an experience. I'll miss the repository and its readers. One of the joys of having the food beat for the last 10 years has been to connect with foodies all over Stark County, and I will miss that. But you can keep track of me and what I'm doing and what I'm up to in Korea through my new blog. And the name of it is, now listen, Abroad Abroad. Get it? Abroad Abroad. So until then, I'm going to say goodbye in Korean. It is Annyeong. Kaseyo. Annyeong Kaseyo.